In this video, I'm going to reveal what's in this box. Now, I'm being really professional in doing this while the uh, kettle is boiling. But, um, yes, you can see it has come via our favourite internet auction website. That is not sponsored, it's just where I seem to buy most of my car parts these days. Let's see what's in here. Yes. Secure on seat belts. Uh, I have been looking at how to fit uh, rear full three point harnesses into um, Eddie the 2CV, but there isn't a quick and easy way. And uh, what, especially while I can't travel to someone who could fabricate a solution, I thought it was better to just fit some new belts. Uh, I couldn't find Ellie's original belts for quite a long time, but I have now found them. But nonetheless, I think new belts are probably a good idea. Um, I don't love lap belts, but lap belts are surely better than nothing at all. And uh, yeah, nice clip. Action, I thought red, because she's a red and white dolly. Might be quite nice, but these, these are clearly more red than she is. And uh, we've got a little bag of fixings as well. So um, yeah, we'll get that done. Beautiful, right. She already has the mounting points. She already had them fitted anyway. Uh, I just never got around to refitting them because I didn't carry anyone in the back. It wasn't a requirement. Now it is. So um, we shall make this so. Now, if you're doing this job on a 2CV, this is not a requirement. But nonetheless, um, I think it'll make life easier, especially given I need to film what I'm doing today. So um, I can undo this little clip down here. On Ellie, th there's a draft strip but um, attaches to the door and sort of locks it to the body, but I haven't got that fitted. So I can just lift the rear doors off like that, which makes access a lot better. Uh, I do love two CVs, uh, not just for that reason, but that is one of them after you've worked on something like the Rover. So here we are, I've got lots of um, dirt coming through the seatbelt mount um, down here. So first job will be to um, clean that out and then we can attach them and I might take the back seat out because that's quite easy to do as well especially if I've left the boot unlocked which I have so if we go in here we've got some mailbag items that we still haven't processed uh, I'm very curious to know what's in this one but let's move that out of the way temporarily because if I undo this clip here and the other one there we go if we do that we can then do this, which gives us access to the lower mounting points. And the rear seat just lifts out like this. It's, it's that simple. Although now I'm holding a camera and a back seat and suddenly don't seem to have enough space. Ugh. There we go. So in mere seconds, we've got um, much more access and I've just found some cable ties. They're always useful. So uh, let's get these seatbelts fitted. Just a reminder while I have a tea break, Eddieversary mugs are on special offer at the moment, just five of your English pounds or Welsh or Scottish or even Northern Ireland pounds. Uh, other currencies do exist and can be used. So uh, head to the Hubnut store at hubnut.org and you can purchase some. Okay we're doing loads of um, demonstrating 2CV's wonderfulness today. I'm gonna drop the boot lid I've decided a bit more light in the back might be a good idea. So we undo the two roof clips here, clip the roof back like so. Uh, then we bring the bar back and we lock it down so we don't forget and it doesn't flip over and smack us on the head as we're driving down the road, because believe me, that's not popular. Undo a side clip there. We undo a side clip over here. And then we can roll the roof back. Just like a sardine can. I always wanted to get a big key to insert in the roof when it's rolled back. And then it's a couple of straps here to secure it into place. Well, I'm not going to bother doing that because I've only rolled it back to allow more light in for filming. Just yet another reason why I love these cars. Oh, my toolbox is full of all sorts of useful things. Look at that, it's absolutely perfect for getting in there and give, oh, sort of rodding out the thread. Perfect, going to do the other side. As well, hear all that road muck out. Sorry for the lovely view of my bottom there. One for the ladies. 
if the lady's got exceedingly bad taste. And poor vision. Next job is probably to get the bolts and make sure the bolts actually fit. Uh, seat belts tend to be a standard design of bolt. So Securon is the same company that made the rear seat belts I fitted into the GSA. So I'm going to chuck a bit of penetrating oil on that just to help it find its way because these threads haven't been used since the body was repainted so hopefully they'll work hmm that's not going very well what about yeah that one's going in so they're going into the middle okay but i might have a bit of work to do to get them to fit these inner wings yeah i can see paint clogging up the thread uh, so i might need to break the tap out just to cut um into those let's hope i've got a suitable tap no, I don't have uh, the right tap for doing seat belts, so this is a bit problematic, so I'm going to finish my tea. Well, it's been a bit of an ordeal trying to chase the paint out of these threads, but um, managed it. Got one seat belt in, now get the other one in. Got some spare nuts as well, because um, perhaps they're bet not betting that you necessarily got um, captive nuts, um, but the 2CV thankfully has. So that's that done. And uh, now we'll get the other one fitted. Right, here we are. The second one. Hopefully the same colour. Yes. Lovely bright red. There we go. So now we've got the buckle goes over there. Here is our lovely... Let's just make sure that's going the right way. Yep, that's all good. Uh, fixings. And uh, we can uh, get well underway. Well, now we can get the back seat back in, which I'd love to say is easy, but um, it's never quite as easy as you hope. So here comes the back seat. It's especially, oh, easy now, made more difficult by having seat belts to try and avoid. Sorry, just keep kicking everything at the moment. But we get the rear seat back in. Oh, it just pe hot goes into pegs, or pegs rather go into holes in the floor. There we go. All three lined up, seat goes back in. There we go. And now I must go hunting for the seat belts. Um, I'll come around here, I'll excuse the banging. Uh, everything moves around quite a bit in this place, it turns out. So if I unlock the other door, go around i'll show you what's now involved with refitting the seat because it is a bit more faff than it used to be because now i have to go hunting for the seat belt buckles which are somewhere are down here as there's one that comes up like so and two must follow as surely as night follows day there we go so i've got buckles in I'm just going to get into the back here and there's my seat belt, my lap belt and uh, it plugs in like so and uh, you have to manually adjust these let's pull it a bit tighter there we go so now if there's an accident I know at least I'm not going to go into the front of the car but of course there's nothing to stop that movement so it's not ideal but you should be able to see in a fairly recent video my thoughts on safety and it, it's never an easy call but uh, I don't want to banish the children from the 2CV because they will miss out on so much fun and it's worth bearing in mind we're not likely to be covering huge distances in the 2CV it might only be locally and while sure enough accidents can happen whenever I don't think you can really own old cars and worry too much about accidents it, it, it's very difficult it's emotive especially when children are involved but uh, at least we are meeting the legal requirements we have the rear seat belts in place hopefully at some point um, i can get around to uh, ooh, where are you going uh, actually fitting some proper free point belts but i think if you're worrying too much about safety then um frankly the 2cv probably isn't the car for you because they are made out of nothing at all. Uh, by far the best approach is to not crash. Uh, so there's a certain amount of that motorcycle nature. 
um, but w where you um, really, really have to pay attention to everyone. But there we go. Um, see if we can refit the door now and we can call that job done. Uh, how easy is it to fit a door to a 2CV? Hopefully this easy. Let's make sure I put the right door back on. So we go up. We engage the sliding hinge up at the top here. I'm not sure we're tight totally on there. Oh no we are. There we go. The door slides down. There's a little um, catch thing here to stop the door flying open. There we go. And that's job done. Beautiful. Uh, put the roof back on, shall we? There we go. I love 2CVs. They are so joyously simple. That's um, the seat bolts fitted to Ellie the 2CV. She is now actually kitted out for carrying the children that have been a part of my life for well over a year now. That makes me feel a bit better. The safety question is one that's never ever going to go away. Should you transport children in cars like this? But if we don't, where's the fun? Uh, it, it, it's a tricky one. I, I certainly might be reluctant to transport children every day in one of these. But uh, for the odd occasional journey, which is all it's going to be, yeah, I'm happy we've got something rather than nothing. So thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to head to the Hudden Nut store and buy the lovely merchandise, the mugs, etc. And I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.